I don't want to change those things about myself that maybe I don't like or other people don't like, you know, like maybe being a little bit selfish, um, having somewhat of an ego, because I don't think you can work if you don't have an ego, because from the time I started, you know, people thought it was like, some, some people thought it was free reign to bang me on the head, because I took a tough picture. So if I didn't have that intestinal fortitude, I wouldn't have continued taking pictures. So I don't have to apologize to anybody for anything that I do, because I do it from my heart why I like to go close is because I want to take the person's soul and I want them to know I took the picture because for me it's worse to be across the street with a long lens than being a spy or sneaking. The older I get the closer I get. The Kappa quote. If it's not good enough you're not close enough. So that's a quote that struck me right away. I mean that just jumped off the page when I first started looking at photographs or reading anything about photography. I think photographs have to be well composed like I like to do the dark side of life so my pictures are dark and but well composed I like the um, contrast I like on one side I like to have a lot of energy and have you know the people that are characters dark gangster types you know the film noir types all this kind of stuff and yet I think the picture has to be framed well so I have the two sides the yin and the yang I guess and for me that's important I don't like generally images that are very clean and have no soul. I think you have to have emotion and soul for me, for me to like it. I like Japan a lot. And um, I had a grant from the French government, the Villa Medici or Le Mur, and then I got a Japan Foundation grant to go. So I was able to spend five months one time and three months another time. And I photographed the Yakuza. I did a story also on the Bozo Zoko, which are motorcycle kids. Before I did a story for a French magazine, I was curious if I'd find them interesting or not, because I was very concerned that they would be total imitations of the West, you know. But it was interesting. Each kid was totally formed of what he was going to be. And they, they were their own men, but they had a style. He's like a James Dean Japanese style. They're great, aren't they? These are Bozo Zoko. They call him the giant. It's his birthday. They're all eating and drinking a lot. The giant's good. He's big. This guy's going to be the boss. You can tell. And that's the pretty boy. I always use a, a black border. I use it to keep the energy in the picture, not out, OK? So in other words, if you don't have a black edge, you know, your eye can wander off to the side. If you have the black edge, you, your eye is kept to the strongest part of the picture, usually. So that's why I use it. He's a famous ex-Yakuza. Everybody, you walk in the street with him, everybody knows him. Abbe George. That looks like someone who's dead with blood dripping out, but it's, see, that's where black and white helps, because it's actually hair dye. And where his feet, it looks like he's going into the morgue, but it's only in a beauty shop in Osaka. I don't like photographs where a story is, you know, where every, the viewer is told everything, okay? So for me, a good photograph is where the viewer looks at the photograph and makes up his own story. Okay, now this guy, to me, I don't know him, but I'm sure he's a low-level Yakuza type, and he's reaching in his pocket, probably for a cigarette, but to me, to me, it's, it's reaching in for a gun. So you make up your own little story, and it's up to the viewer, because I give the viewer credit that he has enough sensibility to make up his own story, okay? And of course, I work very close and very tight, so I put the viewer right in the center of the picture. He's not an outsider, he's, he's part of the theater. I didn't ask her to do that. Um, this lady's exposing herself to me, but she just did it, and then she had also, I think, asked me for a thousand yen. It's a good price, but look at her, it was ten dollars, you know, I think, so um, I wasn't interested. She's great though, look at that. Look at her little feet and the little shoes. I mean, it's the whole thing, it's the details. See, good picture is in the details. What makes a good photographer is you photograph who you are. You know, there's also the Walker Evans School, and I like Walker Evans photographs very, 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 very much. And he was much more of an objective documentarist. You know, he didn't like to influence what he saw in front of his lens. But you see, as soon as you lift up a camera to take a picture of something, that's your call. So, you know, it's not, even though you're using a machine, there's a step between you and the subject. You are the person. It's coming from you.
You're the one snapping the shutter. You're the one who chose the lens. You're the one who chose the type of light, you know, uh, that you think will be good. You're the one who, you know, sees them sitting there or asks them to sit there. I mean, so, you know, you never... How can it be objective? Nothing is objective. I went on my own, and I developed my own style. That's what I wanted. I don't like anyone who is, does the same as something that's been done previously. I'm not saying nobody, I think, is totally unique. We all, like a friend of mine says, we all steal, some of us get caught. But, you know, because I looked at photographs, you know, since I started photographing when I was about 19 years old, so I had things that I liked and things I didn't like, but it takes a few years till you can get your own style and you can call it your own and that's what you do. And I was very aggressive and I was always in your face, so that's what uh, my imagery is about. So, you know, I took from here, there and everywhere, just like everybody else does. And when I started, they used to compare me to several other photographers. And now they just call me Gildan because my style is strong and I have my own style and that's who I am. See, there's a faux guy. You see, that's faux. Actually, I only got one suit. Because some people don't take direction well. And, you know, me and the suits don't speak the same language. But I'm lucky for that, I guess. Oh, you're faster than me. Well, let's see. We'll take the European here now. I got it, I got it. Hello? Hello? Yes. I'm not interested, thank you. Uh, Katia Brasson, he used a comment about my pictures of piss finagre. So, you know, it's like bitter. But I asked my French wife what it means. She can't give me a direct explanation, but she paraphrases it. And, um, but he couldn't say I was a bad photographer. You know, I can accept that.